Hey guys, so today I'm going to be demonstrating something really cool that I've been doing, something really simple and easy, just using these two command block minecarts in the newest snapshot. So, as you see here, we have a dispenser with a few different things in it that can hurt me. So I'm just going to push this button and see what happens. And as you see, it lit me on fire. And as you see, every time I take damage, I'm kind of starting to bleed. As you see there, I'm kind of shooting out red particles. Let's do it again. As you see, I took poison. Now, you notice every time I get poisoned, I kind of have this little red blood effect every time I take damage. Just going to heal myself up here. Let's try it one or two more times. Okay, yeah, the splash potion harming. You saw a little bit of blood going by. The zombie. You see, every time the zombie hits me, I start kind of bleeding. So let's do this here. Yeah. Okay. And let's get an arrow. And you know, as you see, every time I take damage, I'm going to bleed. So now the way I'm doing this is actually really simple. I'm only using two commands. So what I'm doing here, I'm using the particle command. And I'm saying particle of block dust. And it's saying uh, block 152 is an ID of zero, so just a redstone block. Now it's just, you know, relative to me, one block higher. So it summons like right where my head's at. Uh, you know, just... Uh, 0.5 movement, so it's kind of staying near me. Uh, 0.1 speed, so you know I'm just kind of tricking out how the blood works. And then 100 is just how many particles it summons. So if you want like a lot of blood, you say like let's set this to 10,000, and let's come back here. Let's see how much? Okay, you know we can do this. And as you can see, a ton of blood happened right there. So. Um, yeah, it's just doing that, and it's doing it to all the players whose score of damage is a minimum of one. Now, what damage is? It is an objective here. And how I created it, I said, uh, let's see if we can find it. I said, uh, scoreboard's objective add damage, stat dot damage taken. So every time I take damage, it becomes one. So basically, it's saying, do this, run that effect at everyone who has a score of one on that. So every time I take damage, run it on me. Now, what this command block is doing, let me show you what happens without it here. So if we come here really quick into game mode zero and take damage, you see I'm just gonna kind of bleed out for like forever. You can't really see anything because we made it super big. You, rem if you remember how we set it to ten thousand. So let's come back in here into game mode one. Can I get this out of my screen? Let's see here. Okay, uh, that cleared it. So what this what this guy's doing is just saying. Scoreboard, so for all the players, set all the players whose score of damage is at least one. So as soon as my damage score becomes one or higher, it's just going to set it back to zero. That's why it only runs once. So, you know, as you see here, uh, it will run, you know, exactly the one time right there. So, yeah, you can kind of customize this how you want. You know, you can kind of mess with these numbers to make the blood spread more. So if I turn these up here, say, you know, kind of let's turn this down so it's not as bad. And then just kind of do this. Oops. Or game mode one here, or game mode zero. So as you see, like the blood, it looks kind of differently, it's just depending on how you customize it. But yeah, that's how this works, guys. A really cool and simple blood schematic. Really cool if you want to do like some kind of blood in a PvP map. Like there's not really any clocks going on at all, so it's completely lag free, basically. But yeah, that's the video. I got for you guys so thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe I'll be doing a lot more stuff with this soon and that's all I got for you guys thanks for watching Emerging.